Yum. We're off to a good start. They literally got the cheesecakes stacked up. There must have been a dozen of them ready to go, and they're massive. They're huge. They're as big as a motorcycle wheel, <laughs> you know. And it's really, really good. Really good. This one was originally shaped like a pretzel <laughs> before before I hacked into it. Welcome to Destination Eat Drink, the travel channel for foodies. I'm Brent Peterson. I'm an American living in Portugal, but today we are in San Sebastian, Spain, in Basque country of northern Spain. And I thought we'd do a video about sweets and treats here in San Sebastian. And our first stop is Arnaldo's. This place is an institution in San Sebastian. Been doing it for almost 90 years, since 1935, before even the Spanish Civil War, believe it or not. So, um, what did we get? Got a couple of different cones here, and as you can see, they, they were much larger than this. <laughs> Not too long ago, I've started in on them. Uh, Karen got strawberry and chocolate because what's better than strawberries and chocolate together? Little bits of chocolate in there. That's dark chocolate. That's really good. Mmm. Strawberry's delicious, not sweet, but still tart. Me, I got lemon and passion fruit. First lemon. Now, back in the day, I used to be an artisanal gelato maker in Austin, Texas, and for me, I think my favorite flavor that I used to make personally was the lemon. I would squeeze the lemons by hand, buy the best organic, local lemons that I could find and um, I would even uh, scrape in some uh, lemon zest to make it extra special. So I'm telling you that because my bar for lemon is really really high. Um, this lemon is good, good, very good actually. Is it as good as mine? I wouldn't say that would be arrogant but it's very good. All right, passion fruit. Mm. Yum. Okay, I used to make a mango pineapple passion fruit. I think those were the flavors I combined. Definitely use passion fruit. And um, this is really good. Again, nice and tart. So the, you know, when you put too much sugar in, it tends to blunt the flavors. Makes it extra sweet and kids tend to like it and that's good for ice cream sales. But for flavor, you don't want to add too much sugar so that you can actually taste the fruit. This is really good. Mm, yum. We're off to a good start. So we stopped at Otake Wee, which is the oldest bakery in San Sebastian. Dates to 1886. So these guys have been doing it for a long time. They know what they're doing. Um, we stopped in there and I just pointed at a couple of things and uh, that's what we got. And there's no seating there. It's all takeaway, 100% takeaway. So what I really like about this place is the way that they wrap it up with such care. You know, they could just toss it in a bag and hand it to you, but they put it on this nice tray um, with this paper doily on here. And then they put this uh, cardboard on top as kind of a bridge to keep the bag from smashing your pastry when you take it away. It's kind of ingenious and kind of an elegant uh, workaround to keep your pastry nice and, uh, your delicate pastry nice and fresh. So, what do we get? You can see I've already started in on these. <laughs> and uh, this first one is a little uh, shortbread with strawberry jam and uh, powdered sugar on top. And it's really, really good. Really good. This one was originally shaped like a pretzel <laughs> before, before I hacked into it. And what it is, is a um, puff pastry just topped with sugar frosting. Simple as that, but it's really good. And this park, there's 
One of the things I really like about San Sebastian is they've got a ton of beautiful parks. Not all of them are huge, but they're really, really designed nicely. They've got a lot of nice features, nice plants in them, and tons of benches. How many times you go into a park and it's like all the benches are filled up? They can't fill up all the benches because, because they're, uh, there's so many of them. So this is a great place to sit and enjoy our treats. Really good. Time for some Torrijas at Bodega Donostiara. Um, we're in the gross neighborhood and this neighborhood is renowned for pinchos. Um, so this is a great place to come in the evening if you want to get little snacks at different bars and going from place to place. But we're here in the morning. These guys are just opening up and, I don't know, maybe they're a little hungover. People seem a little grumpy here for some reason. Anyway, um, what is this uh, Torrijas? This is a Spanish style of French toast. So um, what I'm told is they take a brioche and uh, dip it in egg and then uh, cook it up. This is topped with some honey and a little bit of uh, heavy cream. Mm. Wow. So, I can see why they're known for their Torrijas. You can get Torrijas in a lot of different places. This place is known for its Torrijas and um, it's because the brioche is so light the batter is not heavy either, and the cream has a little hint of vanilla in it. Really tasty. And I like it with the honey rather than the uh, maple syrup like we get in the US. That's really tasty. And look how, look how thick that is. It's a nice slab of brioche. Karen got a cortado with uh, oat milk. I'll try a sip. Not bad. So this is a cool place. Um, they're open in the evening too if you want to get uh, pincho, but this is a great way to uh, get going for our latest stay here in San Sebastian. I like this a lot. Yum. So I really like what San Sebastian has done with their public spaces. There's parks, of course, but their waterfront, especially up by the harbor, is just absolutely stunning. Um, they've got, uh, you know, that beautiful crescent beach that everyone knows about, and they're surfing on the little tiny waves, and you can take a boat out there, and people are playing beach volleyball. I saw a rad dad teaching his preteen daughter how to skateboard, and people making artwork in the sand, but the promenade is really the highlight. It's absolutely gorgeous, and you got locals and tourists all doing strolls, and it's really something that you gotta see, whether you're heading to a, another pincho bar, you're heading to another bakery to get your slice of Basque cheesecake, or you're looking for a vegan restaurant, whatever it is, um, you know, make some time to uh, walk along the promenade. But it's not just along that waterfront. Also, they've got a river here in San Sebastian. And look at what they've done with this. This walkway here is gorgeous as well. And every morning we've been walking along here and we see folks going for jogs and walking their dogs and just getting from point A to point B. Um, really got to say hats off to San Sebastian for making this such a walkable, livable city um, that's uh, made for people. So, good job. So, I saved this place for last, La Vina, because we wanted to get the Basque cheesecake, which is undoubtedly the most famous dessert in all of the Basque region and all of San Sebastian. So, um, we got here and literally took over 40 minutes standing in line finally getting to the front and ordering the cheese i mean the place is just mobbed and the amount of cheesecake that these guys are pushing out it's also a sit-down restaurant so there's other stuff in there people are ordering other stuff but most people are just ordering the cheesecake 
and it is a free-for-all in there. <laughs> it's like, there's no line, it's just you push your way as best you can to the counter, and then you get there and they ran it, and that cheesecake, they did the last slice, so you gotta wait for the next one to come out. But they literally got the cheesecakes stacked up. There must have been a dozen of them ready to go, and they're massive, they're huge. They're as big as a motorcycle wheel, <laughs> you know? So they get a lot of slices out of them. Anyway. Uh, this Basque cheesecake, hopefully it's worth it. I'm sure it is. Let's try. Wow. Okay. So I don't know if they use ricotta cheese in there, but man, this must be the creamiest cheesecake I've ever had in my life. Usually cheesecake is pretty dense. Um, and this doesn't come with any toppings. Just straight cheesecake. No raspberry compote on top just straight cheesecake, but man, this is almost to the point of being like a Boston cream pie. It's that light and fluffy. All right, totally worth it. And let me show you how caramelized that is on top. Just perfect. And no cracks on the tops of their cheesecake. These guys uh, know what they're doing. La Vina. Come here. I'd say maybe get here when they open because, man, the lines get long fast at this place. So, um, that's going to do it for... Mm, can't stop. So good. That's going to do it for this sweets and desserts video for San Sebastian. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel, of course. You can always uh, contribute at buymeacoffee.com slash destination eat drink. I'm Brent Peterson. I'll see you down the road. A couple pounds heavier from Bass Cheesecake. Delicious. Thank you.